Hello, hello my Virgos. Welcome in for your weekly reading. We are going to find out what is happening. Just a little FYI for everybody who comments. It is kind of when you stumble upon it. Don't worry about the specific time frame because yes, it's an intended weekly reading, but it could manifest later than a week. You know, we never know these things. But let's take a look at what's going on. If you aren't already, make sure you're following me over on Instagram as well, because this week I'm going to be dropping um, the first blog in a series of blogs that I'm doing where I do like little challenges. So this past month's challenge was 21 days of affirmations, um, doing affirmations an hour a day. And the results were really interesting. And I share all of it in the blog. I share the mindset. And you de you're definitely going to want to try it for yourself, especially if you want to fe feel better, especially if you want to make room and space for the manifestation. So be sure to check that out or just stay um, in tune with like the community post here because I will share it over here as well. But OK, let's dive into it. The song I got on shuffle for my Virgos this week was Drunk in Love by Beyonce. So I don't know if you're going to be you know, under the influence, feeling in love. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're drunk, but you could be like drunk on love. But there could also be somebody around you who's going to be under the influence. And something specific about that message is that if that is the case, I feel like this person's going to embarrass themselves a little bit um, whilst they're under the influence. Just saying. Let's see, what's happening for my Virgos this week, please? We have a fiery climax approaches. We are in the eclipse dragon hole and we are in Mercury retrograde, okay? A fiery climax approaches. So there could be a little like, a little drama, a little intensity. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay, so this could be something that's going to um, create some kind of release. All right. Some kind of release your ability to let go of something. Let's get one more. What is this fiery climax? Oh my God. It's time to take action. Another Aries energy. Um, another energy with the Aries. Okay. So I feel like right from the get go, there feels like there's going to be something like some kind of situation that takes place that's going to be sort of the energy you need to move forward um, or to like take some kind of action here. Let's see what is going on. Normally, I don't pull those cards first either. I don't pull the Moonology cards first. I pull these first. What is happening for my Virgos this week? Create, nurture your creative energy. Some of you, I feel like, listen, with all this Mars energy here, some of you, some of you are going to be, it is Mercury retrograde. Listen, 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 listen. Some of you are going to be reconnecting with somebody and it could be like a, a goodbye, like the last time, but it could be like, you know, could get physical in the sense of like, Drunk in love. And it feels like if that's the case, it's because there's some kind of change coming in. And it's like, well, one last time. What's one last time gonna hurt us? Um, what is happening for my Virgos this week? Healing, allow light to enter your wounds. I do feel like there is gonna be some kind of big release for you this week. Again, I don't know why Spirit's bringing me to like the like, sexualized version of release but I feel like there could be some kind of release happening for you this week even if this is like you're expressing yourself um you know I'm gonna leave it at that all right let's get some of the astrology cards and see what's going on for my Virgos here this week second house owning interesting so second house is like finances values and possessions happening 
the ninth house faith. Ninth house is all about like education, foreign foreign affairs, um, spirituality. Let's get one more. Libra, I balance. So I don't know if you're traveling this week or you're going somewhere. Libra, I balance. This could be like um, talking about pa partnership. Libra rules over the relationship and partnership sector of astrology. Um, this could talk about settlements. It can talk about contracts. Um, so we have Leo, I will. That's kind of giving me the self-expression thing happening here. Let's get bottom of the deck energy. The full card. So I do feel like there's something that you're leaping into. There's some kind of new beginning taking place. And the thing with the fool is the fool always travels light. So this could be symbolic of like you releasing something. Kind of what I'm saying. It's like there's some kind of release happening here. And when this release happens, it would be like if you put all your stuff in storage or you sold all your things and you're like, you know what? I got me in my backpack and we're going to we're going to just go could be the energy, could be metaphorical. All right, overall energy of the week, we have the Knight of Wands. Here's movement. There's movement happening in the week ahead. And I feel either this is movement that you, I feel more it's movement that you're taking. You're gonna be taking action towards something this week. And it feels like deliberate action. What is happening here? Ooh, 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 ooh. the Page of Wands. See, this could be communication coming in because this is always my like text message, okay? This is like the Page of Wands is like a text message. Page of Wands with the Knight of Wands. This could be somebody messaging you. Very fiery, okay? It's very flirty, very flirtatious. It doesn't, oh my God, the Six of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so somebody from your past. And when I say somebody from your past, it doesn't have to mean like a past lover. It could be somebody that like you haven't connected with in a while, somebody that you knew from your childhood. Like just don't pigeonhole the past person, okay? Um, but there's some kind of reconnection happening here this week uh, and it feels fun, it feels light, all right? So it could be you get invited to a party, you get invited to like, I don't know, somebody sends you like a message. Let's see what's happening for my Virgos. We have the four of pentacles. We have the tower, interesting. That's interesting to me because that's like stable foundation, something you've been holding on to. There's something that's like the tower is bringing in some kind of change for you. And it's like, you're not gonna have any ties and attachments because the tower is coming in. So with that being said, whatever goes down, we are in a, the eclipse dragon hole, okay? So chaos, that's like the definition of the next two weeks is just chaos, expect the unexpected. Here's the deal. Something that you're holding on to, it's gonna be taken away from you. Um, the tower's coming in, it might be startling, it might be shocking at first, but it's gonna be good because it's gonna be what helps you kind of like let go. Okay, so some of this could be exactly what I'm talking about. Like this is kind of describing what happens when we drink and we lower our inhibitions. It doesn't have to be something dramatic like, um, cause this to me is kind of like my home is, my home is, be, like my home is being taken away from me. So now I have nothing. Um, but this could also be like lowering your inhibition, something that comes in that lowers your inhibitions, whether that is like, I've had a little bit too much to drink and I'm feeling saucy or, um, or like something, something that lowers your inhibitions. Cause I know not all of you are gonna be like drinking. Then we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, okay. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, ooh hoo, hoo. Virgo. What, what's going on here? What we got, what we got going on here, okay? Okay, we got the counterparts on the table. And we have the Seven of Swords. Uh, I don't know about that. 
I don't know about that energy, but we're gonna find out, okay? Inhibitions lowered, but worry not because we got this King of Pentacles here. Okay, 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 okay. What's the Four of Crystals doing here, please? The Chariot. So some of you might be traveling. Like some of you might actually be away from your home at this time. Um, and that could be why I'm picking up on this energy of like, I'm not at home. I'm not in my safe space. Like my guard is down because I'm not where I'm familiar. I'm out of my comfort zone, especially with that chariot. Or there could be some kind of significant travel coming in. This could be unexpected travel. Why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here? The 10 of wands. See, this is the release of baggage. This is the release of baggage. Something that's been like burdening you is going to get sort of blown up this week. And it's a good thing, but it also might be like a little bit jolting. Um, it also might be a little bit jolting because I don't know, the tower is always something like we didn't expect. Let's see, what is this baggage that's getting released this week? I'm in my pretty girl era. Oh, the baggage that's getting released this week is the Ten of Swords. This could be some kind of hurt, some kind of betrayal. Um, some kind of hurt, some kind of betrayal. The end of a cycle. The end of a cycle is here. Let's get one more. What is being released here? The Knight of Crystals. I do think that this is coming through a different offer. There's something else that's showing up for you. Um, and it's showing up unexpectedly, um, but it's like, there's a bigger, there's a bigger purpose. Okay. The full thing might not play out. All right. It's slow and steady. Whatever's coming in, whatever's being blown up, it is in order to bring you a more solid foundation. Okay. What is Mr. King of Pentacles doing here? Ignore gender. I do feel like this is somebody that's going to be providing some kind of support, some kind of foundation for you. What, who is, who is this? What's going on here? The Queen of Swords. Okay, let's go one more. What's, and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull clarifiers for these last two because I want the full story here. Um, give me a clarifier for this Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. Give me a clarifier for the Seven of Swords. The Page of Crystals. Okay, one more. All right, Nine of Cups. All right. This is interesting. And I want to like collect this energy because there's something here. It's almost around, I want to say it's almost like an ultimatum. An ultimatum. And it, like I said, it's going to feel jolting. It's going to feel jolting. I feel like there is some kind of communication. Um, that comes forward towards you. There's some kind of communication that comes forward towards you. Honestly, this could be from like a family member. This could be, but it's almost like you need to make this decision. You need to make this decision. Um, and this could be as simple as like your rent, your landlord is telling you that your rent is going up and you have to decide if you want to live in this place anymore. And that could be like, oh, but then like, Whatever is, it, it might seem like it's a bad thing happening, but actually it's going to be something that is freeing you and liberating you. It's actually bringing you to your wish fulfillment. I promise, I promise, I promise. Um, because here we have like you 
standing your like stability in words, knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing that things are always working out for you and just like wait, just wait. That's like what I keep hearing is like just wait. Maybe not on the decision, but like whatever's happening afterwards, just wait because there's something that's kind of being hidden from you. There's an opportunity that's being hidden from you that is going to be a wish fulfillment, but it looks like you gotta go through this little like shake up because you, you're you in like, you've been stuck, you've been in some kind of mode of hesitation and the universe is about to be like, well, we'll show you the way. We'll show you the way, we'll push you in the right direction. So what is this communication that's showing up for you this week? What is this communication showing up for you this week? We have the Four of Cups. I'm telling you, something that's going to feel a little bit like, I could be sad about this. What is the communication coming in this week? The Four of Wands. It's, <laughs> it really is like going to be a, a, I could look at this as a negative or I could look at this as a positive. It, 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 it really is going to be like that. The Empress. Oh, some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant and maybe you're like, do I want to be pregnant? Like, it could be that. Like, mm, I wasn't ready for this. But at the same time, like, a baby is a blessing. I don't know. I don't know. The Fool card again. Whatever it is, it's like, okay, but now I have a clean slate. You know, yeah, this kind of sucks. But at the same time... I have this, I kind of ended up where I wanted to, like, I kind of asked for this. Um, communication coming in. The Two of Swords. The Ace of Crystals. Okay, give me one more. What is this? All right, the Two of Crystals and the World card. I feel like... Okay, here's like a little manifestation 101 for my people who don't know. Sometimes we are manifesting stuff and when you're like, why hasn't my manifestation shown up? Or why hasn't this, like I watch all these tarot readings that say this big thing's gonna come in. Until your nervous system, your subconscious is like ready, you feel safe in whatever's gonna happen, um, it won't happen. The universe won't bring you a tower moment until they know that you're ready for it and you can't and you are going to be able to handle it. So universe or my higher self, I always look at those moments where something horrible happens, even though I've been doing everything in my power the correct way, working on myself, growing. Once that tower moment comes in, I've establish such a strong relationship with my higher self with the universe that I'm like okay obviously this is part of what I'm asking for it's the bridge of incidents there's an opportunity you've been manifesting but you haven't been ready for it up until now you've been subconsciously blocking it out because you've been doing other work or you've been getting ready for this thing this thing is going to show up and I think it's going to be presented to you as an opportunity, as a decision that you might need to make. And um, you might be like trying to find some kind of balance here of like, how can I juggle the two things? How can I make both of these things work? And then the universe is like, Haha, we're going to take care of that one for you too, because we're going to eradicate this other thing. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. So what is this opportunity showing up for my Virgos? The seven of pentacles. It's like, don't be, a, don't be a scared. Don't be a scared. Don't be scared. Cause you've worked, you've built towards this. You planted the seed a while ago and now it's time. Um, with the emperors on the table, I always look at it as like, it's time to like labor is here. The labor, the day of the birth is here. It, I would imagine that it's very scary. I don't have kids, but I would imagine the day that like, okay, this baby is like coming out today is like the day. It's like we prepared for this, but this is also terrifying. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but you are, cause you've prepared for this. And, you know, yeah. 
Ace of Wands and the Fool card again. That Fool card keeps wanting to make its way out. You prepared for this. The universe has your back. The universe is supporting you. If you are connecting with an old person from the past, I'm going to pull some cards on that because I don't want to leave that open-ended, but I am going to move into the extended where I'll pull from the archetype cards. I'll pull from my tea leaf tarot. These are so freakishly accurate. Um, and I'll pull some message cards, some romance angels, you know, all the things. What is this? What is this energy? Who would this person from the past be? The six of swords. Who would this person from the past be? The awakening, the judgment card. It would be, it feels like they would either be, they're either coming from a distance and that could mean that they're, um, contacting you via social media we have the five of cups here, so it could be that this is like somebody who ghosted you or somebody who like, what is this? But whatever it is, I feel like if there is a past person you're interacting with, we have the knight of cups. Um, they're coming in with like an emotional offer. Um, there could be some regret around how things ended. Because again, the Eight of Cups coming out, the, I just saw the Eight of Cups twice. So there could have been like, I walked away um, from this situation. I'm walking away from things that don't serve me. Um, and like I said, this could be a friend. This could be a family member that like the friendship ended a little bit abruptly or it was like one day you just stopped hearing from this person type of thing. So there feels like if there is a past person or this could be you reconciling your own past, you know, it could all be internal. Just let let it flow and see what happens. But I'm going to move into that extended. The join button is right down below. If you want to, it helps the channel out a lot. Um, any donations, tips, if you like this, or just even joining my membership channel, which is $10 a month and you get access to all extendeds. And I would love to have you over there. So um, I will see you there. <laughs>